A viral induced wheeze. I, I mean, a viral induced wheeze is basically when the tubes that are carrying air to the lungs, they become irritated and inflamed because of a common cold or common virus. Um, what would be like an increased risk factor of viral induced bees? So viral induced bees are more common in, in children uh, who are born prematurely, who have got other chronic illnesses, um, who are in, in an environment where there is a lot of smoke and who have had other exposure or more than four episodes of something common, viral common cold. Um, do you think, it is it the same kind of thing as asthma then? It is not it is the same as asthma. In, in, uh, all the symptoms can be quite similar um, in certain ways. So both in asthma and in viral induced wheeze, like the word say, there is wheezing or the whistling sound. But in, in viral induced wheeze, there are children are well between the episodes, where in asthma, the breathing difficulty persists. Right. And how would you treat a viral induced wheeze? So <clears throat> there's uh, many ways that you can treat the viral induced wheeze, depending on the symptoms such as the wheezing itself. That can be con that for that an inhaler can be given, and that is called salbutamol, and it helps relax the muscles of your lungs, and you can breathe better. Um, the other ways is make sure if you are suffering from a viral illness and if there's a fever, you give them paracetamol and always make sure that they have lots of fluids to prevent any dehydration. Um, in terms of if the symptoms are getting severe and you feel it is not something that can be managed, it's always better to go to your GP and get that checked.